have we spoken about uh, the development of the primary brain vesicles into the secondary brain vesicles and their adult derivatives uh we're going forward to talk about some abnormalities you know always to talk about abnormalities because at the preclinical levels we are actually uh how like put it we are training you guys for the clinical level okay so when you have the anatomy the neuroanatomy and all the stuff we always talk about the applied side okay the abnormalities what if the normal doesn't happen okay so our focus today is to discuss holoprosencephaly, which is also known as what cyclopia. All right, so you could see um, this is cyclopia. Cyclopia is basically a feature of holoprosencephaly, okay, which there is failure in um, separation of the midline. And cyclopia just means that you're having one eye, okay. I remember when I was young. I watched the Greek movie tied to Cyclops, okay? And the big giant had just one eye, okay? So that's what actually helped me understand this. So holoprosencephaly is a congenital induction disorder of the brain. And it occurs at, uh, it occurs between the third week to the sixth week of gestation of development, okay? No. Third, okay, yeah, 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 third to sixth week of development, right? Because you haven't been given birth to, you are still an embryo, you are still developing, okay? That's the third week of embryonic development and the sixth week of embryonic development, right? So within this period is when, if there's an abnormality, which we'll speak about, there'll be holoprosencephaly. So it is basically, there's a failed segmentation of the neural tube, okay? So now this failed segmentation this is basically like, the neural tube is supposed to divide so that this part will develop a mirror image of this side. That's why we cover yourself like this. This side of your face is looking exactly as this side. Do you understand? So if there's failed division now, it will lead to the child having just one eye. Okay, that's where the whole person cephaly comes in. Now you can see the side. You can see the shape of the head like a triangle. It's hollow. So, if there's a failed segmentation of the neural tube, it will lead to incomplete separation of the prosencephaly, which is basically the forebrain, the uh, the prosencephalon. Okay, the prosencephalon we actually form the forebrain, and the forebrain is what we develop into a complete head. So, if there's failed division or segmentation, okay, incomplete separation, it will lead to you, the individual being developed with just one eye. Okay, so now another way you could say that the embryological reason for uh, holoprosencephaly is due to the loss of midline in the brain. Okay, so lateral ventricles will actually merge into a single chamber. Okay, now eye fields too will fail to separate. Okay, so the individual will be having. So actually, this is the normal development. Earlier on, you're just having one primordial for the eye. Later on, they start dividing. Okay, they start dividing. And you see a normal human being being formed, okay? But at this stage, okay, if the process that is needed for the separation of this midline so that this half of the face will develop differently, this half of the face will develop differently, you end up losing the midline, okay? So thereby, Lateral ventricles in your cranial cavity will become, will merge, okay, and become one single chamber, and your eye fields too will just be one, okay? Your eye will not develop to this stage of becoming two, all right? To this stage, rather, of becoming two, all right? So you have one eye, and the lateral ventricles will merge to one chamber, all right? So, guys, that's it about, uh, Holoprosencephaly, also known as Cyclops, talking about uh, the embryological basis and the uh, characteristics of features. Okay, so that's it. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.